Okay, let's talk about going to New York. I'm sure that's a lot of fun for you guys. Uh, as a freshman, I mean, going to New York, like, as a first game, other than um, Southern Oregon Best, like, your first trip, it was amazing. I mean, New York is a special place. I mean, it's definitely night and day compared to West Coast and East Coast. I'm glad I went, and I'm glad we did a great job. And, uh, yeah, talk about halftime. Your coach was talking about, you know, pitching yourselves. You know, what was it like when you guys were leading at halftime against the D1 team? Well, as soon as the buzzer sound, we were all ecstatic, but we had to remember, we had to remind ourselves it's not over with. We have one more half. But we was ecstatic. I mean, me personally, I, I was smiling from ear to ear. I was like, I can't believe this. But I had to pinch myself, had to remind myself. So that's, that was going through my head, probably through most of my players' heads, most of my teammates' heads. So you know you guys ended up did losing, you know, losing that game. Talk about afterwards, you know, sure the confidence was up for you guys and that you guys were pretty pretty happy with the performance. We was happy with our performance because, I mean, we worked hard for six weeks leading up to this game. And the coach said it, it was definitely night and day from last year's team and this year's team. He had confidence in us, and we had it in ourselves too, and we showed it. I mean, sadly we lost, but I think we're – comfortable with what we have and we can build on what we have and I think our our first home over game against Simpson I think we're going to prove to a lot of people that we can play. And talk about some of the off the court experiences you guys got to do you know going to and visiting Madison Square Garden and just New York City as a whole. Madison Square Garden it's it's the mecca of basketball I mean what most storied arenas in the world and just seeing it, it just, it was breathtaking. Just seeing how, like how the court looked, I can understand why Carmelo can drop 50 almost every night, because it's, it's just a great place to play. I, I would love to play there someday, but um, obviously a lot of players that he mentioned, like Rocky and A.B. who didn't, wasn't able to go last year, they, they marveled at it. Also with Ethan Dillard and Brad McCall, they, they loved it, I mean, we took a lot of pictures. We even took, there's a seat in Madison Square Garden called the Phil Jackson seat where he sits. And there's a lot of people who's taking some pictures of like, oh, I'm right next to Phil Jackson. So, I mean, it was great. And then outside of it, we, we was able to eat some street food, the story street food. We even ate some New York style pizza. So Awesome. And uh, being one of the freshmen, I'm sure one of those road trips, you definitely get to you know, bond with the team a little bit more and talk about how the team has really come together in this preseason. We're a very tight-knit group. I mean, from day one, Coach started, started talking about how we have to be close-knit, especially in the locker room, and it shows. It showed on the court. I mean, me personally, I they're, they're right or die to me. I mean, when I, going, like, I love being around my teammates. I mean, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. With practice, I mean, I have, to, I have to play against you all the time. But it, it, it grows ever more. So, I mean, I love playing against my teammates because I'm getting better, they're getting better, and it just means that as a whole we're getting better. So, and it's a little bit of a wait for the season opener. But talk about said you guys are already get out there and get the season going. It's two weeks is a long time, but I, I'm happy we have these two weeks because, like Coach said, we have some strengths that we need to keep in. We gotta get stronger, and we have some weaknesses that we have to work on. And thank goodness we have two weeks to get through our studies. You know, get ahead. I mean, I'm. I gotta get through my studies, gotta get ahead with that too. We all do. Thank goodness we have these two weeks. And I can't wait till this upcoming, not this Friday, but next Friday on the 14th. I can't wait. It's gonna be exciting. You sure he's a freshman? You're coaching him up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me. Alright, going up against those big D1 recruits and a talented team like St. John's, do you feel that helped you get better as a player going against, against such big talent like that? Oh, yes. I mean, like you, you have to play against the best to be the best. And St. John's is one; they've proven themselves year in year out. I mean, I remember last year they won the NIT. So going against them, it's a it's an honor, and just almost taking it to the wire. It's it's a blessing. That's how I see it. And what did you learn as a player? What did you take away from that as a player playing against that team? Um, don't believe the hype. Um, they're just like us. They tie the shoes just like us. Don't don't believe the hype. Play play your strengths and just play your hardest because anything can happen. And it, and it showed. I mean, we was leading 
one point at half, so anything can happen. 